Split decision. And stand. No! Oh, no, they didn't. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Bro, they just robbed Mayor. Bro, they just robbed her. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG, and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. Today, we have some good news coming out the women's division, man. Shout out to the ladies. Shout out to the queens, man. We have Michaela Mayer, apparently looking forward to facing uh, um, Sandy Ryan, man, it's on September 27th in New York, man. The Big Apple, you know what I'm talking about? So, you know, those of you unfamiliar with Michaela Mayer, man, last time we saw her, she was the victim of a real robbery. <laughs> What's poppin', Carmen? You know what I'm saying? I think robbery is one of the terms that are overused in boxing these days. You know, anytime somebody's, anytime a person that loses that you're going for, you, you think it's a robbery. Well, it's not always the case, but in this actual case, it was a legitimate robbery, man. I think the Michaela Mayer versus Natasha Jonas was probably the worst robbery since, you know, it, it, it was it was a robbery comparable to the Osha Key Foster and Rob Sikasesa robbery, you know what I'm saying? And it's not Natasha Jonas's fault. You know, fighters fight, judges judge. I just think she was the beneficiary of a bad ruling. Well, I got seven seven rounds Michaela one, three rounds, uh, two rounds Jonas one, and one round was a draw. She almost dropped him twice in that last round. Well, I ain't gonna say almost dropped it, but she had her wobble. I got Michaela comfortably. A few moments later. What? 96 and 94 for Jonas? Me blood clot. Not like this. Not like this. 97 to 93 for Mayor, exactly! Split decision! And stand! No! Oh, no, they didn't! No, they didn't! No, they didn't! Bro, they just robbed Mayor! Bro, they just robbed her! You know, and I think that um, Michaela Mayer, you know, they tried to get the rematch, but unfortunately things didn't work out. It was n n not to the fault of Michaela Mayer or the fault of Natasha Jonas. It's just things didn't work out, you know, as it often happens in boxing, you know. So uh, they didn't get the rematch. And um, yeah, so it seems like Natasha Jonas is moving on and, and Michaela Mayer, Mayer is apparently moving on too, man. It's, it's dope to see her, man. I think she's one of the top uh, female boxers out there. And uh, she's facing Sandy Ryan, another top boxer who last time we saw her fight was um, against Terry Harper, Terry Harper, where she won convincingly and um you know so this is a good fight you know they have some history together you know as well and uh, i think it's very interesting because they share a, a trainer a trainer or former trainer in k karoma you know k karoma was um it's been noted by Michaela Mayer that she's no longer working with him. And she said, and I quote, that um, she's loyal to the bone, but some things she just can't tolerate, you know? And um, so a lot of people are, are assuming um, that it's in regards to, um, it's in regards to him working with Sandy Ryan, you know, sorry, I had some crawling on me, all these mango trees and stuff. It was, it's, it's in regards to him working with Sandy Ryan. And um, so now it's gonna come full circle to where she could kind of get some, I don't want to say revenge because not. I don't think it's that serious, but she can kind of get some recompense for um, for K. Karoma working with uh, Sandy Ryan. But wait, there's more. And for those of you unfamiliar with K. Karoma, you know he's a boxing trainer, and he has some uh, predatory allegations going around coming from uh, Jada Boxer. You know, I don't know if it's true or not. I don't know the legit the, the legitimacy of it. I'm just aware of it, so I'm not gonna confirm nor deny the allegations but you know you can look into it yourself and, and decide for yourself you know what i'm saying but uh yeah so he has some history with um women boxing period and we'll see how that goes man it comes full circle i will be rooting for um michaela mayer in this fight even though i like sandy ryan she's she's a she's a dope fighter as well but i like michaela michaela a little more man this is a tough fight too man shout out to michaela mayer man she reminds me of of uh like uh jermaine taylor or or errol spence or you know, or even like a Gabriel Rosado, not from a skill standpoint or whatever, not comparison, not comparing them from similarities of skill or fighting style, but just from the fact that they're willing to fight anybody, man. Michaela Mayer, this, this is another tough fight. You know, whether she comes out on top, I don't know. You know, she has two losses, one to, um, like I said, the, her most recent loss, her last one, it was against Natasha Jonas, which I think she won. And then her other losses to Alicia Bumgarner. And now she's going in there with Sandy Ryan, man, another tough competitor. So we'll see how it goes, man. Uh, September 27th in, uh, in New York, man, the Big Apple, man. Y'all let me know who y'all who y'all have in that fight. 
it's going to be a banger because Sandy Ryan is definitely a capable fighter. She only has one loss herself. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes, man. I, I got Michaela Mayer in this one, man. Hopefully, hopefully she could pull it out and win convincingly and to where we don't have to worry about what the judges decide, you know, and there won't be another robbery on her on her behalf, man. But yeah, so y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the, in the, in the comments, man. September 27th, Michaela Mayer versus Sandy Ryan, the banger in, in, in the Big Apple. Remember, with God, we can do anything without God, we are nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.